Hi, I'm Peter Ray. And I'm Joe Zhao. We're students from St. Mary's University, and we're going to give you a little outline on the Colombia-U.S. Free Trade Agreement. Well, Colombia is a country in South America located between Ecuador and Venezuela. However, Venezuela, uh, Colombia's neighbor, tends to be the most radical country in South America, and its political instability, as well as socialist views, have prohibited economic growth in South America over the last few years. Well, right now, we'd like to focus on another country in South America that has benefited from the free trade agreement with the United States. This country is Chile. In 2004, we signed a free trade agreement with Chile, and over the past uh, four years, our exports, U.S. exports to Chile, have risen by over $4 billion, as well as Chile's exports to the United States has risen by over $6 billion. Now, the exports and imports from both countries have increased substantially, and this has occurred because there has been greater government and financial stability in Chile. Now, the major Colombian exports are petroleum, coal, coffee, flowers, bananas, and gold. And the free trade uh, agreement that the U.S. and Colombia have right now says that all tariffs will be eliminated within 10 years. Textiles and apparels will be quota and duty free uh, starting immediately. U.S. financial providers can establish branches in Colombia as well as insurance agencies as well. This free trade agreement between the two countries will eliminate tariffs and other barriers to goods and services, promote economic growth, and expand trade between the two nations. Now there will be some short-term transition and adjustments, but the long-term benefits of this free trade agreement are, are far greater. Now we would like to go into the recent political developments of the U.S.-Columbia free trade agreement. Well, both the Democratic candidates, Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton, have both, uh, both opposed this free trade agreement. Um, and as well as Speaker Pelosi has. Um, their major concern is that the economic policy right now is not advantageous to the U.S. and that the President needs to take more action um, with the U.S. economy instead of focusing on international trade. Um, I believe this to be incorrect. I think they should vote on this. The President Bush has sent it to Congress on a fast, a fast track, which means they should vote within 90 days of receiving the bill. Um, they have refused to vote until the president has accommodated some of their other short-term needs, uh, such policies laid out, um, such things as increased unemployment income, more uh, higher health care benefits for children, and other such socialist programs the uh, U U.S. has. Other concerns the Democratic Party has uh, are job losses in manufacturing industries, such as Ohio and Pennsylvania, which are currently key election hotspots that the Democrats are looking for votes in the upcoming general election. Um, I believe this to be false, and I think we should vote on the, on the free trade agreement, because I think it has a lot of positive <clears throat> economic impact on the U.S. and the Colombian uh, economy. Some, of, some uh, positive effects will be lower prices of goods, more competitive and higher productivity uh, within our industry. Um, textiles is a major export of Colombia, and them importing into the U.S. will be a low-priced product that will um, have to will force our companies to increase their productivity and be able to match the price of the in incoming good. Uh, another is an ally in a unstable part of the world. Colombia is situated in, a, in, a, in South America, unstable, and having a, a trade ally is a, a good political tool for the future. Um, and then in, increased exports. The U.S. is always looking for another, another country to export and, and look for investments, and Colombia could be that nation. Right now, we have an exclusive interview with a, uh, with a textile worker that works at a Colombian factory. He is going to give us uh, his viewpoint on why we, or both countries, need the free trade agreement and uh, how it will benefit um, himself and his family. So what's your name, sir? Uh, my name is Carlos Antonio Bermudez Mena. And what do you do for a living? Uh, I work at, at a textile factory. Uh, I put buttons and shirts for a living. So tell me about your job. Well, the thing is, a few years ago they opened the textile factory and all the community works there now. We all put buttons and we're so glad because before I used to work in farming, but that's not good all the year, you know, only some months. But now I have this job all year round. We all work there and we all have our, our paycheck every month, so we all eat every month. So where does everything you produce go? Well, all the clothing we make in the factory, those are, it's not sold here in Colombia. It's, it's exported to the United States. So, you heard about this free trade?
trade agreement between the United States and Colombia? Yeah, and, and we all want that because we heard that uh, if they do the free trade agreement, then they're gonna open more factories to export more to the United States, and then more communities are gonna get jobs. I have some cousins that live like five miles from here, and there's no factory there, and they, they have problems. In conclusion, both Peter and I support the free trade agreement with Colombia because competition is the engine that drives innovation and higher productivity. Protecting our markets right now will only hurt the consumer as well as the market in the long run. Uh, future implications of the U.S. Um, Colombia trade agreement uh, is the U.S. South Korea trade agreement that Bush has finished but he has yet to submit to Congress. Uh, we'd like to thank um, uh, our researcher in this video, we'd like to thank the U.S. Trade Representative website, the Wall Street Journal, St. Mary's University, and Dr. Bill Liz's uh, macroeconomics class. Thank you. Thank you.